Hello to friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I have for you another Rough Rider traditional gentleman's uh, folding knife that I would like to share with you. So it is the model number RR2086 and this is the trapper model or trapper pattern from the Rough Rider G10 Classic series. So this is a newer uh, series that they started in the 2020. They will sport a nice uh, G10 uh, scale with your standard uh, 440A uh, blade steel. It will give you also a really nice and beautiful sturdy box. At this uh, value uh, price point this is uh, something uh, extremely nice to see that they can uh, afford uh, to produce it and there you can see the dedication uh, with the owner of the brand that he puts uh, towards the, the customer because a lot of uh, a lot of uh, knives uh, in the uh, even in the higher price category than this one can come in something like this yeah not good but rough rider big thumbs up Okay, so let's talk about the, the Trapper. Trapper is Trapper with a Stogman is probably the around the world the most known uh, pattern of uh, traditional slip joint knives you can probably have on the market. And a lot of companies did produce their own uh, variations of this knife. So let me give you uh, the quick specifications. So we have a whole length of 18.5 centimeters, 7.3 inches. And the blade one, uh, so the primary blade is a clip point, which is 8.2 centimeters and 3.2 uh, inches. And it is the same also for the secondary blade, which is a spade blade, um, that is uh, 8.2 centimeters or 3.2 uh, inches. The handle length is 10.5 centimeters, 0.1 inch. The thicknesses of the blades are 2 millimeters or 0 0.08 inches. The width is and the clip point is 1.3, and the and the, the spade blade is 1.2, which comes at 0 0.5 inches. Like I mentioned on the classical G10 series, uh, we have a stainless steel brass separate uh, separation aligner and uh, a g10 scale so the g10 is a one piece brown and then it is a inlay which is a green colored so this is a matte or a bead blasted finish this one so if you don't like the finish you can definitely uh, take them down uh, this is also a unique unique design feature with this uh, line or this series because mostly they are uh, pinned construction and you cannot um, disassemble them so this way you can take them apart and maybe change them out do a little bit project or just uh, polish them up if you like to see let me put some uh, isopropyl alcohol on this one and you can see that uh, uh, with polishing and oiling this would look uh, really nice and and shiny if you don't like it then you can you can leave them bare stock like uh, the knife comes from the factory okay uh, so we have on both of them we have a long pull and uh, nail nick as an opening feature which is nice to to have and to see also at this price point because just keep in mind this is another step in the production which costs time and money and I will talk about the pricing uh, a little bit later on but if you are did see any of uh, my previous Rough Rider uh, videos I have lots of them then you will know that I really uh, really highly recommend this brand and uh, I had uh, no issues so far and uh, I own uh, lots of them Okay, so, uh, but I forgot, we have a st half stop at 90 degrees, really nice walk and talk, 
positive locking, oh, sorry, non-locking, but stopping, and then in an open position. The weight of the knife is 74 grams or 2.6 ounces, so this is significantly uh, lighter than uh, maybe your brass uh, nickel silver bolstered uh, variants of these knives. So yeah, good to have all this light uh, functional knife you can uh, choose from. I would probably uh, probably liked if uh, David uh, the the previously uh, released uh, uh, because there is also a micarta series uh, which they use a also a green micarta with uh, uh, with stainless steel bolster and those are heavy. But if they would go with the full uh, micarta scale, then it would be uh, probably much nicer and lighter than than what uh, we have currently available. If you would like to see. I have the complete uh, collection of all the micarta series knives that were uh, released in uh, 2020 on my channel just go and watch the the playlist of rough rider okay now uh, i usually forget this part but uh, let me show you the sharpness Yeah, sharpness is definitely really nice. Uh, let me also check the secondary blade. Yeah, definitely, definitely nice and sharp. And uh, now uh, let me talk a little bit about the um, the price point, of course. Well, you probably know Rough Rider is a Chinese uh, produced uh, brand which is owned by Smoky Mountain Knifeworks and uh, they will give you a really high value, good attention to detail, really decent uh, quality control. Uh, I strongly uh, advertise that uh, yes, they can sometimes have some blemishes, maybe uh, there is a gap between the, uh, the inlay and the scale and the bolster, of course, uh, but uh, definitely some kind of maybe scratching on the blade. But uh, this is a uh, 15 uh, priced $15 knife. So for amount of details, materials you are getting, and also nice box presentation, it is spot on and um, i'm really happy with the product yes uh, here in europe uh, this costs uh, much more <laughs> than those 14.99 i mentioned uh, they are sometimes they cost almost double but still uh, if you like uh, to collect traditional designs these are way way cheaper than uh, let's say something uh, more established like a case brand or buck so this is uh, i don't know i did import it from us and it cost me around uh, 80, 84, 84 euros. So the knife plus uh, some shipping, of course. So if you like, go check out uh, Smoky, Mo Smoky Mountain Knife Works. It's a mouthful, of course. But I, I always uh, try to put links down below to go check out the the reseller or the in this, uh, this case, the distributor and uh, check out their stock, their inventory, maybe they are on stock, maybe they don't, maybe you you have to wait a little bit or write them an email, but definitely if you like what you are seeing, then uh, uh, it's a really good price point and also value proposition right there, okay? So if you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Uh, I always appreciate all my subscribers and, and commenting and watching my videos. Uh, I always uh, try to uh, try to share uh, my opinions, uh, my passion with my hobby, which is collecting knives and also other stuff uh, that uh, you will get something out of it. Maybe some uh, bullet points uh, which will help you uh, with the purchase. It is not uh, easy to to get uh, your hands on some of these products if you're not uh, maybe living in a in a big city where are 
um, knife uh, sellers uh, they have uh, large showrooms and and uh, even in these days that is uh, problematic for some countries of course but yes uh, I, oh sorry I forgot let me give you a uh, few size comparisons almost forgot almost forgot so uh, here is my peanut which is also a favorite of mine from Rough Rider and let's see here is a toothpick from Buck here's the model 1507 from uh, Navy or sorry brother uh, in previous uh, life they were called Navy <laughs> yeah and also uh, to shown previously my case tribal lock okay now some more known knives here's the Kershaw skyline small grip to limb Spider Co. Delica Red Model 2 Bug Vantage Pro Bug Sprint Pro Cold Steel Recon 1 and Kpar Dozier. Okay, so one one more time. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please leave comments down below. I'm more than happy to reply as soon as I can. And uh, with this, I would like to wish you a wonderful day and uh, hope to see you soon.